Hi, Merry Christmas. So today is the this is the last recipe of the Christmas series which I have been uploading, and this is Christmas plum cake. So like um, for me, Christmas cake means always a plum cake with no icing. So that's what I'm going to show now. A Christmas plum cake with no icing and no alcohol. So let's see what all things we need for making this cake. So you need to take a big bowl and all the dried foods, all the dried foods which is available for you. Like I have taken black raisins, uh, golden raisins, then cranberry and also uh, prunes. And for the spices I have taken one big cinnamon stick like this and then a piece of nutmeg and then star anise and that's it like i have taken two star anise and a small piece of nutmeg and one big piece of cinnamon stick so i have powdered this along with brown sugar a little bit of brown sugar now i am going to take one more cup of brown sugar and two eggs so this is the brown sugar which i have powdered I feel like if you are doing it with your hands, mixing with your hands, powdering the sugar makes it very easy. And I am taking self-raising flour which is very convenient. <coughs> if you are not having self-raising flour, you take all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of, uh, sorry, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder. And I am taking two cups of uh, self raising flour and out of these two cups I am putting two tablespoons of flour in the dried fruits and I am mixing it with the dried fruits so that the fruits will not go down while baking and as I told the measuring cup I am using the same cup for everything for the uh, butter and sugar and flour now the eggs also I am going to beat it in the mixie, the small jar because as I told I am doing it with my hand so mixing everything is very convenient and now I am taking molasses, I am taking one teaspoon sorry one tablespoon and then half a more tablespoon of molasses so as I told if you are do, doing it with a blender you can you don't have to beat the eggs in the mixy jar you can do it straight away and this is the butter as i told one cup of butter so one cup of butter one cup of sugar and two cups of flour and two eggs and almost 50 grams of each dried fruits i have taken i have already buttered the pan which you have seen now and i cut the baking paper also now i'm mixing everything with the uh, butter leaving the fruits aside now it's time to mix the fruits and that's it pour it into your baking tin and bake it when you are baking i have taken like in i have preheated the oven in 180 degree the cooking range oven the middle rack and uh, 180 degree i have baked for 15 minutes and almost one hour i have baked in 100 degrees so this is how it looks like and I am going to keep this in the fridge and after the first day that is on the second day I am going to feed the cake with juice so the juice which I have chosen is grape juice almost 50 ml of grape juice and almost 50 ml of mixed berry juice so I am not using any alcohol to feed the cake because kids also love this cake, grown ups also want to have. So that's why I'm not using any alcohol. Now I'm going to prick the cake, and as I told, this is the second day after baking, and the cake was in the fridge. So you can keep the cake outside also. I, I thought I will keep it in the fridge. So on the second day, I'm going to prick and I'm going to pour the juices. And the next day, I will put the cake upside down and uh, pour the juice in on the other side also so the uh, the 
first day baking the second day pouring the juice on one side and the third day pouring the juice on the other side and that's it when you want to take the cake take it out of the fridge i'm going to keep it again in the fridge and once it is ready to be served take it out of the fridge and heat it in your oven that's it and if you want to make icing if you want to do icing definitely you can do but before that you need to warm the cake if you have kept it in the fridge and then you need to do the icing for us christmas cake as i already told with yeah, we prefer it with no icing so i'm not going to do any icing for this cake so pouring the juice makes the cake very soft otherwise the cake will be little bit what you call crispy like little bit like biscuity so once you pour the juice and once you keep it in the oven then it will become really soft and much tastier and after pouring the juice it's better to leave the cake in in the fridge or outside and if you are keeping it outside you need to uh, wrap it carefully and put it in an air tight container so that's why i prefer to keep it in the fridge and as i told yeah uh, before after pour, feeding the cake at least one day it need to sit so usually people are making the christmas cakes like two weeks ahead of christmas or one month ahead of christmas for me i'm taking only one week and with with that one week itself it really turned very good so please do give it a try merry christmas once again so this is how it looks like see it's very soft and the color also changes a little bit after pouring the juice so that's it the plum cake which is very easy to do thank you so much